Hello! In this video we will explain how we build the links to the next work motion for the robots. We have prepared the project. It's for welding. Here we have one operation and in this operation we have 8 welds. If we go to simulation and check, then we can see that every weld is performed with Cartesian interpolation, but these links use the joint motions. This one. Every weld contains some kind of joint motion. Also, we defined the plane as safe surface, so every joint motion is performed on the same surface. Now, if we simulate the project, we will see this way. First weld, link. Second weld, link, next weld, link, and so on. Well, as you can see, every link is performed on the same surface. If we check the robot optimization map, we will see these grade zones. Let's check. Every zone is a link. This is the motion and this is the link. We have the additional checkbox Joint Links. If we enable it and rebuild the map, we will see some collisions and these link zones, but it's not important because, for example, singularities are not available when robot works in the joint mode. So, it must be disabled. And then we can see it quite good. You can see that now we perform all motions on the same surface. Firstly, it's not optimal and secondly, it's not always possible to move up to the safe surface. Let us add it and disable safe surface to the short. Calculate the path. Now you see that the length of toolpath is changed, so that we need to optimize the robot map. Here we can see that the toolpath is shorter and this is the rail motion. Now we made the rail motion on the link, like we don't want to move our robot base while welding operation. Let's regenerate the toolpath and see what has changed. This is the welding. After that we see the collision. Motion. Next welding. And here we can see the collision. If we calculate the toolpath it will contain a lot of collisions. Disable this one. Again we can see the collision. So we can see a lot of mistakes here. Toolpath is much shorter but not correct. We have an additional option here named Collision Avoidance for Links. We can enable it and in this case, when we'll build the links, we'll try to avoid all the collisions. The next parameter is save distance to the collision. Let's recalculate the path and check what we have now. It looks like toolpath is longer, but it's quite optimal. We can see the green mark near the toolpath. Few words about safe distance. If robot goes quite close to the collision, you can set the distance here. But note that this distance cannot be too huge because the first and the last point of the link must be located far from the collision. And this distance must be less than the collision distance between the start and end points. 
With this new option, we can make a project that was impossible to make till now. We loaded the project. Welding of such structure is possible now. If we disable collision avoidance here and try to recalculate, we will see the toolpath like this one. First weld is quite good. Collision. Again collision. And again. The whole toolpath is incorrect and all problems we have are the rapid links. We enable this one and recalculate. The calculation time is longer as it's needed to be analyzed a lot of data to avoid collisions. Now the toolpath seems terrible, but let's check it. As you can see, there are no collisions now. That's all. Thank you for your attention.